Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, the 3rd of May. Today is my mum's birthday. I have to remember to text her later. And today I am not in my house, I'm in another hotel. And this is the weirdest hotel I've ever stayed in. Gymshark booked it for me last minute because I have an early morning shoot. It is only 8 a.m. And as you can see, I've got full hair and makeup on. And, oh, as you can see, I also have a really bad creak in my neck because that bed was not comfortable. I'm staying in the block hotel, so they're kind of like little pod rooms, kind of. It's like, I don't know, 12 by 12 or 12 by 6 or something like that. And the bathroom's in here. And look, you could literally sit on the toilet and have a shower. It was very precarious. I don't know how two people would have been able to do this. So I've just got my hair and makeup done. I have to be at the gym, which is about five minutes away, in about a half an hour. So I'm gonna go and drop off some of my bags because I've got a big bag full of makeup and a bag full of trainers and they have my clothes for the shoot there. So I'm gonna go and grab a coffee before we start and hopefully my painkillers will kick in for this blasted creak in my neck. After the shittest night's sleep ever, I've had two coffees and now I'm on a red bull. I'm just waiting for Sam who's looking after me today and the helper to arrive. I'm here at the Henrietta Street gym. It's like a boxing style gym. I'm, just, I'm actually just examining my makeup in this kind of better light. Hi! Hi. Puppies! They're outside already. Where are they? They're out in the back. They were like, man, she's so late. I'm gonna go truffling. Everybody's truffling then. No puppies. Hi! <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Bailey, look who's home. Mum's back. Who's here? <laughs> Who's here? Hi! I'm back, darling! Hi! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Yeah. Back in from Birmingham. It was less than 24 hours. Um, I did my photo shoot. And we've got puppies back in our lives. We've got a sandwich with some of the taste chicken breasts and a melty cheese slice. No, mammy's sandwich. And I still have a crook neck. She's helping. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bales. And then I'm gonna go hit the gym. It is Friday. I'm still all croaky. <coughs> and here it comes doggies to stalk me. I didn't film the rest of the day yesterday because I think I was on some kind of caffeine high when I got home and I just needed to sleep and rest and relax. I just had a long day, kind of early start yesterday and kind of that surprise trip down to Birmingham the night before and stay in the hotel. So I just wanted to kind of relax last night. Um, and now this morning I'm back to normality. I've already had my carrot cake muffin. I've already had a decaf coffee. As you can see, I'm makeup free. I'm gonna go hit up the gym today, get a good session in get some cardio in and get back to normality because we're back from Turkey. Yay! I have showered, I am in my gym clothes, the sun is shining and I'm about to have breakfast. It's just after 12 midday. As you know, I intermittent fast and I kind of have my little breakfast muffin and my decaf coffee first thing in the morning, um, but I don't consider that like a proper meal. And then at about midday, one o'clock, I usually have my main kind of breakfast, lunch thing. So I'm gonna do that now. I have a bit of a headache. I don't know what it is. It's just like, I was massaged and I don't know whether that has kind of, I had the creak in my neck and bit of a headache going on, but 
I'm gonna fight through it, I'm not gonna complain because apparently you guys don't like me being honest or complaining about anything. So I'm just going to be happy Laney. We'll see how the positivity improves my feeling of well-being throughout the day. I have breakfast, so I've got my two slices of nimble bread with some marmite on it. I've got three bacon medallions, which I get from Muscle Food. We've got some scrambled egg whites with some of the protein cheese, also both available from Muscle Food. And then we have some sauteed mushrooms, red onions and spinach. And I'm gonna to top it all with some of this. It's the new Heinz tomato ketchup with no added sugar or salt. Now the macros on this are amazing. So for 15 grams, and that's pretty much what I normally have, it's only 0.8 grams of carbs. And to be honest, you cannot taste the difference. And I just picked that up in Asda. I think it's replaced the 50% less sugar and salt. So I have just taken some of this anodin extra. I'm very sensitive to ibuprofen, so I can't take any of the Neurofen pluses or anything like that. Um, they just upset my tummy, but the anodin seems to work with me and hopefully that will lift my headache. I'm starting to do calculations in my mind and I'm thinking I may be due my period and that could be why I have this horrific headache and I actually have some lower back pain as well. So it's probably just PMT, guys. And as you can see, I'm happy and smiley. And my lips, if you look, I got some really horrible comments on my last video, I'm not gonna lie. And a lot of them were about my lips, saying that I'd gotten too many fillers in my lips. Yes, I do have fillers in my lips, but guys, I also wear Invisalign. And most of the time I take out my Invisalign when I'm recording vlogs because um, it can make me lisp a bit more and it pu they push my lips out a bit more and make them look a bit bigger than they are. As you can see, my lips are, in my opinion, bigger, but not too big. So keep your nasty comments to yourself, guys, because I know it's freedom of speech and you can write whatever you want on my channel, but I like to be quite positive on my channel and I will be honest with reviews on clothing, hotels, accommodation, anything like that. I'm always very honest. So if you don't like that or you think I'm being ungrateful about what I have in my life or being brought on vacation by my husband, I'm not being ungrateful. I'm being very honest with my reviews. So when I said that the hotel we stayed in in Turkey was not a five star. That was an accurate review. It was not me slating Lex. We had an awesome time together. We spent some very good quality time. Um, a lot of the time I wasn't sad in the video either. To be honest, I was probably a little bit sleepy in the video because I've been sunbathing most of the day. But we had a really good time. We enjoyed some amazing food, but also the food for me was not to my taste because I do not like oily food, I do not like deep fried food. That has nothing to do with macros, it's nothing to do with dieting in any way. I'm not obsessed with my macros and I'm not obsessed with dieting or getting down to a really low body fat. I simply just don't like cream and I don't like um, food that's dripping in fat. So a lot of the food was a bit off-putting because it was um, like literally dripping in fat. As I said in that video, I used to get my mushrooms in the morning and dab them down with a napkin because I don't like fat on my foods and it has nothing to do with macros. I'm quite happy to add in fats to my food and help me hit my macros. I did enjoy some desserts. They had these amazing brownies while I was there, so I did enjoy that. But again, I don't like donuts because they're deep fried, so I'm not gonna be eating donuts. I enjoyed some baklava, but again, some of the baklava, I don't really like pastries, so I didn't eat a lot of that either. Just to get back to my day, I'm gonna continue vlogging. I'm gonna, hopefully, then Anadin Extra will kick in and I'll be able to do a leg session. I have decided moving forward to try and improve my legs and improve the way they look. I'm going to add in an extra leg day a week. So I usually do two upper body days and two lower body days, but now I'm going to introduce in an extra lower body day and it's going to be kind of more dynamic. So I'll be doing walking lunges, I'll be doing jumping squats, things like that, body weight exercises, just to get it moving and hopefully that combined with some sprints and a good diet and a good reverse diet under the supervision of Will Grazione, who is my coach. I will hopefully get my legs into better conditions so that I can compete later on in the year because that is my goal. And I don't think tracking my macros in my off season is obsessive. 
I think it is dedicated because previously, as I've said in loads of my videos, I have gotten to stage weight, I've gotten to stage condition, and then after that, I've just let it all go and stopped tracking and stopped calculating everything quite closely. And that's where my downfall has always been. It hasn't been in the prep. I've always been good at prepping. I've always been good at dieting and doing my cardio, but I find it difficult in my off season when I'm trying to gain muscle, gain condition, and um, increase my metabolism. That's where I've fallen down in the past. So that is what I'm gonna really concentrate on. And part of that will be tracking my macros. So I will continue to track my macros so that when I start to diet again, hopefully I'll be able to take in more food and have a better metabolism as opposed to yo-yo dieting, which my coach is completely against. And it is great to have someone external there to supervise me and help guide me through this off season and through my next prep. So I'm really excited and hopefully you guys will be too and you'll support me through the next prep when it starts, probably in about 10 weeks time. So guys, I'm just making myself coffee. You can hear it in the background and I'm gonna have some of this dark chocolate. It's dark chocolate that I normally bake with and it's like 90% dark chocolate. And when you have PMT, you obviously crave chocolate. The reason for that is because of the magnesium levels in dark chocolate. They actually can help with PMT and regulating those hormones. Maybe the nausea and the back pain and the headache that I'm feeling right now could be associated with that. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to, number one, eat chocolate and number two, um, hopefully it'll help lift my headache. Also, I'm having a caffeinated coffee. It might sound strange to have a caffeinated coffee when I've got a headache, but caffeine is a vasodilator. So if you do not overdo it with caffeine, it can actually help lift a headache if you can stomach it. I know I've had migraines in the past where the last thing I want is coffee, but right now it's not quite progressed to a migraine. So I'm feeling that if I have a coffee now, which I haven't had yet today, that also may help just lift the headiness that I'm feeling right now through vasodilation. So they are two of my tips for overcoming headache, and general PMT, which I honestly, I, I just, I suppose because I've been away and I've had the competition and then next week we go to Birmingham for Lift Brom, I had my photo shoot. I've just had a lot going on that I suppose I wasn't looking at my diary and keeping tabs on what could be making me feel so ill. And ta-da, it's just probably just my period. Nothing sinister at all. And I'll be feeling a lot better once I have this coffee. And then hopefully, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee while watching Great British Bake Off. It's on Netflix, I'm really into it right now. I haven't seen a lot of the episodes before, I think I only started watching the last series. So I'm enjoying watching, binge watching Great British Bake Off. It's given me a lot of ideas of recipes I could make into healthy recipes. And then I am going to hit the gym and after that, I shall be bringing the dogs on their sunshine walkies Yes, my dogs get walked, they get plenty of exercise, even if they don't get walked out on the road. We play with them, we've got like a very large garden here. They get played with daily, they get plenty of exercise and we monitor their diet. So our dogs are super healthy. There's nothing wrong with them. No need for concern, guys. At the moment, Bailey is crate trained. She has always had a very inquisitive nature and she's quite destructive when she's bored. So she's always been crate trained. Roxy, however, has always been left to roam free around the house. She's quite trustworthy as a dog. But we are trying to train Bailey to not have to be in the crate so that when we move house, that hopefully we won't have to bring the crate with us and she will be free to roam with Roxy. What are you doing, Bailey? I'm gonna roll around in the grass. Cause it's sunny. That's how you get a rash, you're allergic to the grass. Roxy, are you chasing mammy shadow? Are you chasing the shadow? She's crazy, isn't she, Bailey? You want your belly rubbed? Best puppies. So the combination of coffee, dark chocolate, and anagen extra has lifted my headache. As you can see, I've got my liners back in. So yes, I have big bee stung lips again. So I'm gonna hit the gym now and hit up my dynamic leg session. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking maybe some walking lunges, maybe some single leg deadlifts, 
uh, some jumping squats. We'll see how we get on. And then back for lunch because tonight we go out for dinner. So I'm just gonna have a light lunch to keep me going until our meal tonight. I'm gonna have dinner, I'm gonna have a drink because yes, I can enjoy life and follow my macros and meet up with friends and do it all. You can do it all. You don't have to restrict yourself 100% to achieve a fit, healthy body. This is what it is. Fit and healthy, still got abs. gym that workout was super hard I just feel really nauseous and really bloated probably you know sometimes you feel bloated but you don't actually look it but I feel like I even look slightly bigger round my tummy I'm just like holding back the vomit right now I don't know what it is that I just have gotten really bad PMT or something. I'm hoping that's all it is and it's not some kind of a tummy bug. I've been back in about 10-15 minutes. I've just been outside throwing a stick for the dogs. We like to play fetch. Isn't that right, Rox? Do you like the sunshine? You like getting the, the stick thrown for you? Bailey, however, prefers to just eat the grass. Bailey can be a bit of a lazy bones when it comes to being outside. Uh, Lex is in Manchester, but he's on his way back. Then we are going to go for dinner later. I'm gonna go and make myself some lunch now. I think I'm just gonna have one of the Joseph's pittas, some chicken, cheese, something light, nothing too heavy. And then get ready to go back into Manchester. So here we have lunch. I've got one of the Joseph's pittas, lightly toasted on top of the toaster. I've got one of the taste chicken fillets in spicy from Muscle Food. I've got the Eat Lean grated cheese. I think I've got 15 grams of that, 10 grams of the Light and Light Mayo, eight grams of the Blembro sweet chili sauce, all in this little wrap like a panini. And I'm going to enjoy this while sitting in the sun and Lex has just messaged me saying the battery on his bike has died. So he's waiting for his friend to come, pick him up and fix his dead bike. And hopefully he'll get home soon. I'm gonna enjoy this now. So it is, 7.45, we're going to head out for dinner in about 15 minutes. I look like I'm wearing dressed for winter, but it's just a trench coat. Lex accidentally put diesel in his petrol bike, so he's literally just home and getting changed. I might as well just show you this little outfit, because a year ago today, I wore this for our rehearsal dinner for our wedding, because tomorrow's our anniversary. So I'll show you my little dress. I have this trench for like donkey's ears, it's for full circle and it was just my go-to kind of light throw-over jacket for girls' nights out. This is my little dress, as you can see, it kind of has like a tuxedo effect, so it's like business on top, party on the bottom, and it has a kind of racer style back. 
It's really flattering considering I am quite bloated today. You can see the belly. And I never get bloated, guys, so this is like a revelation for me. I look like I'm a few months pregnant right now. But you could see when I was in the gym, I did still have abs and everything. It's just literally a bloat. And I just feel really nauseous all day. So hopefully it'll pass tomorrow. Let's see, I did my hair, just curled it with the curling iron. Makeup kind of neutral. I'm wearing my wedding earrings in celebration. I've only worn these ones before. And that's me. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here because Lex and I are now going out. And I'd like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your ongoing support. And hopefully you'll enjoy the upcoming vlogs as I kind of reverse out of my diet for the coming weeks until I start prep again. Keep, keep watching, keep liking, keep commenting. Keep it positive, guys. We're all human beings here on YouTube. We have feelings. Remember that. I will see you next time. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them out to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy all the parents. Ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up our damn hands. Oh.